Welcome to Morning Devotions with Apostle Daba. Today I want to talk to you about a breakthrough life. Stay tuned. In the book of 1st John chapter 5 verse 4 the Bible tells us that whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world that is the secret of a breakthrough life a breakthrough life it is a life of victory a breakthrough life it is a life of dominion a breakthrough life it is a life of consistent miracles a breakthrough life it is a life of someone who sees the power of God every time in their lives. It is a life of consistent testimonies. I want to encourage you this morning. I want you to understand that in whatever you are going through, you can still experience a breakthrough life. A breakthrough life is your inheritance as a child of God. A breakthrough life, it is what God has promised you. And, 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 and we see this promise. Because the Bible says in the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4, that God has given us these great and precious prophecies that through them we may partake in His divine nature and escape the corruption that is in the world through lust. And in the verse before that, the Bible tells us that He has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Christ. And also when uh, we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 5, we are told of the, the vineyard, the vine that the Lord took care of and, and, and uh, he, 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 he nurtured it in order for it to bear fruit. So God has given you all the tools that you need for you to enjoy a breakthrough life. Remember in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17, the Bible says that there is no weapon that is formed against you. That will prosper in the book of jeremiah uh, 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 chapter 29 verse 11 god says i know the thoughts that i have for you these are not thoughts to destroy you these are not thoughts for something bad to happen to you but he says these are thoughts that will give you a hope and a future so i want to encourage you this morning there is a future for you there is victory for you if you trust god you can enjoy a breakthrough life actually a breakthrough life we see it in the book of jeremiah uh, i think it's chapter 17 where the bible tells us about the power of trusting in the lord and the bible says you shall be like a tree that is planted by the, the riverside and, 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 and you shall not run out 
of, of water. Even in the dry season, you shall bear fruit. Also in the book of Psalm chapter 1, we are told about the, the promises that God gives to the righteous. So I don't know what is going on in your life. I don't know what you are going through. But remember, Isaiah chapter 3 verse 11, tell the righteous that it shall be well with them. So whatever situation that uh, you are going through, the promises of God do not change. So I need you to feed yourself with the promises of the word of God. I need you to, be, to, 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 to um, encourage yourself in the Lord because victory belongs to you. Remember, you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. So God promises, promises you victory. God promises you breakthrough. God promises you healing. Everything that the word of God promises you is yours. And we do not walk by sight. Second um, Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 says, we walk by faith. Hallelujah. So I need you to walk by faith. I need you to begin to decree. Remember, we don't just see reality, but we speak reality. We don't just see the situation, but we speak revelation. We speak revelation in the midst of, 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 of your situation. Are you born of God? Are you a child of God? Then the Bible says you shall overcome the world. Is your ministry born of God? Then the Bible says you shall overcome. Uh, is your marriage born of God? Then the Bible says you shall overcome. There is nothing in your life that is born of God that God is not going to defend uh, 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 you on and, and make sure that it comes to pass. Remember, he who has begun the good work in you, according to uh, Philippians chapter 1, uh, I think it's verse 8, he, he, what does the Bible says? It says, he shall bring it to fruition even unto the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember in the book of Romans uh, chapter 9 verse 28, the Bible says for he shall finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. He goes on to say for a quick work shall he do upon the earth uh, 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 shall he do upon the earth so so it, it is a powerful promise that the lord has already given you a finishing anointing the lord has already given you the grace for you to experience all the victory that you need in your life let me pray for you this morning father in the name of jesus christ father we give you the praise and the honor father we thank you for promising us a breakthrough life we thank you for breakthrough we thank you, Father, that your promises do not change. They are here and they are amen. And Father, I pray for my viewers all over the world who are going through whatever situation that they are going through. I pray that, Father, they will experience breakthrough. They will experience victory in their lives. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises the standard. I pray, Lord, and I thank you that the standard is raising in each and every one of their lives. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we give you praise and honor. Amen and amen. All right. Thank you for tuning in. May the Lord bless you.